Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel and this is the fourth part of our inventory management system. In the previous video, we have covered the user registration and also the login system. But uh, in today's video, I'll go through the login system again. Uh, we have made some changes. We need to register, we need to connect the user with the employee and its profile. So we'll have another table for the employee that is employee underscore profile. So the when so when a new user is, is uh, registered, so his entry will come to the user uh, underscore uh, user underscore user table. Here we will store his username, his password, and the employee number. First we will do an entry to employee uh, table here. Then we will grab the last inserted ID from here and insert it into the users table with uh, along with his username and password then we will uh, log in so let's go to the login system again here i have the this um, the login all right i will remove this so from the login uh, page uh, we are uh, getting the email and the password for uh, for our login system then we are passing those two variables email and password to the uh, user model to a function authenticate user uh, if you click control b it will take you to the user's model and that function here as you can uh, see we are grabbing the user username and the password and its status is active so let's try this you know the query is coming uh, let's see if we can uh, get anything from the database in this login variable. Uh, we'll do a print r echo pre so that our printed data can be a little bit uh, cleaner and uh, exit. All right, so the username and password they are already written over here as you can see username and password is uh, admin click the link so here we get uh, all the information from the users table as you can see the name and password so now we will store the uh, these information for the user and its profile data into session so we'll put a condition if dollar login means if the login is true and uh, if we are getting any data from the users model so then we will put a condition uh, we will say define variables to store data into session then we will come over here uh, let's quickly check out if our session library is loaded i hope it will be loaded but uh, just for the confirmation as you can see our library is loaded so now uh, this for storing data into session uh, in coding matter you will use the session library uh, by um, yeah uh, you will so use session library this session uh, set underscore user data yeah. session user data here i pulled I put the data. Let's say I am storing the user ID, uh, his his uh, username, and the law and the state group ID. I'll store these uh, three information. So the first one is user underscore ID. That is coming from the login as user underscore ID next i will store his sorry user underscore name as username next i will store his group id group underscore id group is basically the role that is assigned to the user when he is registering so we have a administrator a super administrator and then we will have another roles like mm, 
let's say an HR user or any other uh, type of role so these three variables have been stored into the um, into a session library all right now um, we will uh, check if dollar login group id is equal to one uh, one is basically for the super administrator which i have already uh, stored over here i have the group table here which is super admin and the rest are general managers and designer or whatever role uh, you have already defined so if the user uh, that uh, is logged in and his group id is uh, equal to one that means he is the super administrator or the administrator so we will redirect him to um, his his dashboard to the administrator dashboard i'll write here and i will say redirect this user which is an administrator to the dashboard all right else whatever the group id is i'm not mentioning anyone of it whatever the group id is also redirect him to the dashboard but there we will put a condition uh, which user has to see which uh, menus or uh, his dashboard so also put over here dsh dashboard all right now let's try this out I'll quickly go let's see if we can successfully log in this user admin and sign in so there we go we have successfully uh, signed in the administrator I'll show his uh, name over here mm, so that we can know uh, the uh, user uh, role all right let's check uh, go to model I don't have anything over here let's quickly grab the group uh, name from uh, from the group table so here I'll put a variable that logged in group is equal to dollar in this users model I don't have a function for it so I'll create a function get logged in user group and i'll pass the group id which is coming from the session of that login uh, data from the model so login group underscore id all right let's quickly make this function users model the shop the shortcut for making a function is pubf and press tab it will uh, create an empty function with the brackets so this uh, requires a parameter which is a group id now let's grab uh, this uh, group from the group uh, table this db select what i need is a group name don't ever use select all because if you are joining the many tables like two or three or five and it contains dozens of dozens of data so it will put a load on your server which is not a good uh, programming so just um, grab whatever the field you need so i need a group name so i'll grab the group name from which table usr underscore group and put a where condition where group underscore id 
is equal to dollar group id i'll return as a row underscore array row underscore array i'll assign this to query variable then return this return dollar query now let's check this out mm. don't print it i know it will work so this is being logged in i'll also store this group name into the session library in this session set underscore user data group underscore name which is from coming from the get login user variable where group underscore name now let's echo this group name into our uh, header file here echo this so i'll come to the header file i will find the uh, drop down here it is let's remove this and echo php echo dollar this session user data group underscore name uh, i need to log out this user so, uh, that is how i will see the group name because it is not stored in the login so let's come over here quickly make a function for logout public function logout user dot with this session session underscore destroy and redirect back the user to the default controller which is the login controller of mine so logout user and header come over here and i'll pass login controller slash logout user now let's set this out once again and the login will work it is working super admin let's quickly log in the user again admin press enter there we go there is an error in the user model line number 38 all right select group name from user underscore group where group id is this all right let's oh i forgot the get function get there we go oh, so we have logged in the user let's see the role name here it is as you can see the role name is super administrator let's make it a little bit cleaner uh, here i will put a header tag header four and i will echo his username for a while so equal dollar this session user data echo his username and here echo his group name so i'll put this in h6 tag let's check this out i'll put an hr over here so oops Oh, maybe the generator name is wrong. Refresh, and there you see. Oops, the HR is a little bit messy. There we go. The super admin and the role. Let's give it uh, a class of text dash white. Maybe I don't know if it works. It is working as a bootstrap class, but all right it should not work and just give it an inline css color equals hash select and also give it style hash six times there that is what the hex original port for white color there you go oops it is not uh, white oh i forgot the color there we go 
so now the login system is uh, completely working i'll do a little bit modification into our uh, registration system as you can see over here when we were registering the user we were storing the full name into the user table we were just doing uh, a single entry to the user table now what i want is to uh, modify it and uh, create a new user uh, a user's profile and send his old details whatever it is uh, for in the start we will put just a full name his username and his password for the registered user we will show that full name into the employee table uh, then grab the his employee id which is a primary key and uh, send it back to the user's uh, table with his username and his password so the full name all right so first of all what we need to do is to make an entry into the uh, employee underscore profile table all right into order this uh, login users model and i'll create a parametry parameters function for all the um, creation crud uh, i'll actually make a crud uh, files for uh, create read update delete into uh, into my model for once so whenever you are doing the crud operations with where clauses uh, so you can um, you can pass just the parameters like a table name on the data so like let me give you a clue like here employee we're storing the employee information into the employee profile table all right employee underscore profile this is the table name then i'll pass the data data which data will be passing to the uh, create record uh, function that will be an array and i will send employee full name into an employee underscore name column emp underscore name dollar full name pass this into uh, this function let's quickly make this function so the parameter function for the create record will be like uh, create underscore record here we will have the table name and the data dollar so let's make a query function dollar this db insert into this table which data this data that is coming from the controller so this db insert data and i will put a condition over here if this db affected underscore rows i hope this is the function if there is an uh, insertion or deletion or any thing or any action performed into the database so it will um, give us the boolean that will be a true or false so if this db affected underscore rows which is greater than zero which means we have inserted our data successfully so i'll return a boolean true else I'll return false. So now let's try this out. We don't need this because I'm not returning anything. But uh, I'll be returning the user in, uh, ID. So what I need to do is to return dollar this DB in the last inserted ID. We in calling we have function called this db insert underscore id so i will return in this id return this db insert underscore id come over here uh, assign this to get inserted id is equal to this and in place of full name you don't need that anymore 
we will pass that uh, id into uh, let's see, see, see user underscore user and employee underscore number so int sorry int underscore number and get the last inserted id so let's quickly print this before inserting into our database dollar data put and set so the rest of the code uh, isn't executed echo make the printed array a little bit cleaner all right uh, log out this and go to the session here i will uh, type my name run i will type my name here i put uh, username which will be let's say johnny yeah. and the password will be um, the password will be the same johnny all oh, right the email do we have the email uh, column in our employee underscore file oh yes we do have so we will also insert in that um, what is the variable what is the name of this that is email all right we will grab this uh, we will also get this from the input with this input post over here pass another uh, we will type email into underscore email i hope this is the underscore email there we go and pass it the dollar email function all right let's check this out close this email shamajanin.com register there we go we get the employee number which is four let's confirm this from uh, as you can see we have three tables we didn't uh, insert another one but if you refresh there we go i have registered myself successfully we get the last inserted id and now we uh, we will do is to insert this into the um, the user table uh, username password mp number will be this all right so the group id for the, the group id for the new registered user uh, i will put as by default let's say it will be group underscore id other than one so i'll put a two sorry group id would be two so mm, group id will be two all right and the is active status will be one for a while is active equals one so all right uh, let's remove either remove this from here so we don't get uh, a conflict let's remove this all right control r and uh, did we type an email now oh, yes all right continue so the user registered registered con uh, successfully let's confirm there we go his id is five the user uh, which is inserted over here is username is johnny the password is encrypted we'll get uh, we get uh, employee number five the status is yes and the group id is two so we have successfully uh, registered a user and all uh, and also make logins uh, made a login system for this system so this was it for the for this tutorial the login system and the registration so kindly subscribe to my channel it will motivate me to make more tutorials like this uh, and i hope uh, to see you in the next tutorial take care